zero x ten c well to the power of c um, there's there's an explanation behind the name um, it's a new game that Notch is working on that is set in the future and uh, it's going to be in space with a fully programmable computer that you can that runs your ship and basically runs the whole game because I mean through your ship is how you do pretty most everything in a space type game however you are going to be the person not the ship you're going to be a person who has a ship and uh, you know running around in the ship and whatnot it's it's inspired by Firefly and Elite and stuff of that type nature and uh, here's the backstory and stuff just go to this site to check it out I'm gonna show some other links and whatnot some other things are really cool there's a whole community popping up around this game right now which is really awesome okay and check this out take over the galaxy with github um, yeah github now right there there it is github officially supports the DCPU-16 assembly language. Any files with the DASM16 or DASM extensions will automatically be recognized and highlighted properly. That is freaking awesome. And look, there's already some projects and stuff like the uh, 0x10c, however you pronounce it, standards committee, uh, which they're trying to make uh, a series of standards for application development. Which is pretty cool. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check this out and maybe try to adapt my project to uh, go along with that. Yeah, I'm trying to make my own operating system for it, right here. Uh, which is um, it. It doesn't work. This this is just crap. Don't look at this. Um, you're not. I'm not even announcing it yet. It's not supposed to be announced. Um, but oh well, it made it into this video. There's a whole category oh there's an organization oh it's an organization oh that's cool and this is really cool this is a uh, live edit environment oh it says it right there for the DCPU this is at dwilliamson.github.com you know what I'm gonna put links to all these things in the description and to the right of that window you get this which is your code and it's preloaded with the uh, assembler test that uh, Notch made. This is DCPU-16 Studio, which is a uh, pretty nifty assembler, compiler, whatever program thing to uh, write code in. Here's a little messages, and here's a memory dump, all your memory. I I kind of don't get what the point is. The diff Oh, I get it now. Because this one see the instructions are stored in memory so this is the code that does whatever instruction and uh, these are the actual commands and where they are in memory some commands take up more space some of them take up less space registers and CPU state and different things this right here is Atlas OS which I've noticed um, has some issues Anyhow, you can use this. This is, so far I've seen, this is like the uh, best thing to test your code in. I, I haven't heard of a better one. I think it's cool that people are making a bunch of them. Uh, not a lot of them work, though. But it's pretty cool that people are interested in it enough to do that. Okay, here's the code. Alright, 364 lines that make this and this is gonna be really epic when we start this and here it is someone made uh, their version of minecraft for the DCPU so as you can see and dig down dig around the way it works is the WASD keys uh, do something either place a block or remove it depending on if there's a block there and then the up and down keys, the arrow keys actually decide like where your character moves. Oops. Ah. There we go. I jumped out of a hole. And uh I mean, of course this isn't going to be as fun as the real Minecraft and everything, but it's it's really cool that someone was able to make this. I mean, look at it. 
Isn't this awesome? This is so awesome. Let me build a tower to the sky as far as you can go. Yay! Yay! I'm like falling midair. Yeah, so that's this is pretty cool. I mean, look at this. This is more for me to learn to program more and I want to make my own OS and know how to check code so I don't get malicious code from others because, you know, anyone can write code for the DCPU, which is the name of the processor in that new game, and uh, I'm making an operating system for it. It's, uh, it's really broken right now, but hopefully it'll work at some point. What is 0x10c? This is a new game that Notch is working on, and uh, you should really check it out. It's coming out pretty soon. And then uh, we got LLVM DC. Oh yeah, that's something else. This is this is cool. Here, let me. Now, and here it is. Minecraft. Fuck. Um. Oh, the whole program just had some issues. Yeah, but if you reset it several times, well, it's not doing it anymore. Now it's doing the opposite. Now, if I do a full reset, and then I assemble, and then I run it, it does this, which I think that's a bug. I'm pretty sure that's a bug. And then if I reset, it spawns another one of those things. So it's actually pretty nifty just to watch, but um, something's wrong with it. And I'm really curious what is causing these to just bounce around and I really hate how the message that you're supposed to be seeing that it loaded you don't see and I don't know what this bug is but like if you reset it enough times it gets that error loading process which is very strange and um, also something else about it I forgot what I was gonna say <laughs> 